Hey guys, it's me Daniel Carter, and in this video I'd like to show you how to create a 3D muzzle flash for sequences like time freezes, like the video you've just seen, or and this one here, which is the same, just in After Effects. And to do this, you need uh, three things which are very important for you to create this. First of all, you need a good camera, a high definition camera would be really good um, with good contrast and and you have to just when you take your footage keep in mind and you have that you have to keep the camera steady and what you need to do is Adobe After Effects this uh, three uh, no it's just the software here which I'm using right now and you need one more thing you, you don't need it really but uh, you can I'm using where I get these textures from or videos. Uh, that's the essential pack from Would You Copilot. So I would show it to you, but uh, I have problems with my internet connection at the moment. So uh, just type in in Google Would You Copilot, click on their on their page, and then go to products and go to the essential pack two, and there you can download. It, you, of course, you have to pay for it. It costs ninety nine dollar, and then you get uh, two DVDs of really good textures and videos for t explosions or shattering glass or everything you need for visual effects. I really recommend it to you. And I'm going to show you now how to create this. So you know now everything you need and we're going to start now with the new scene. So open a new project, just new project and add a new composition. Type in here the size of your footage and here the frame rate and the duration and click on OK. Now you have here your 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 uh, final movie. At the moment we don't have any objects in it so it's just black. And we have to add now our our footage in here in the project files. So so just open the folder with your footage in it and drag and drop it into this box here, this area. Uh, so when you when you've dropped it here and it's imported again, drag and drop it down here into your composition, and then you can see it already in your Viewport you can move now the time slider to move around in the time. And the next thing we're going to do is to track this point, the tip of the gun, uh, to add after that the muzzle flash in front of it um, without doing animation by hand because that would be really hard to do and wouldn't look really good. But um, anyway, now select this uh, track here and click here on track motion automatically after effects will open here a new tab here's your composition your final result and here's the track tab and move now this tracker here to the tip of your gun just search a point with a lot of contrast I'll take this one here and then scale this, this box a bit up about like this here and then hit this play button here to track the motion and that's why you need a good camera because After Effects wouldn't be able to track it if the resolution would be low or the quality would be bad or it would have a lot of motion blur that's the worst thing that could happen and you can also use an external tracker if you want to, something like Synthize or Buju if you have a license for it. Um, if you know how to use it, of course. But I'm going to use in, for this tutorial the internal tracker of After Effects. And now that's something that will happen a lot of times in this video, I think. My I don't know why, but After Effects is lagging a lot of times. But it's okay after some seconds. 
Okay, now we are almost finished, just these 50 frames left. And yeah, after, th after that we're going to apply the motions to a null object which is which is similar to an empty object in Blender for example or if you know that program or what else. Um, it's just an empty object so it's, it's, you can't see it in the final result but it's there you can uh, you can burn things to that for example that's what you're going to do in the plan and after that so when it's finished you can add here it takes a lot of time I hate waiting for that um, okay but now we're first just jump over that part here Okay, three, two, one. There you go, finished, finally. Oh no. Okay, but just just three frames, I think. Now we finished. You can see now here the animation path was tracked very well in my sequence, and. The animation is now applied just to this tracker here, but we want to apply these motions to a null object. So I click in here and add right click new null object, and then click again here on on this uh, old track the footage here, and click on edit target, and so it's automatically selected already the null one object this layer and just hit OK and now hit apply and click on OK because we want uh, the motions on the X and Y axis to be applied in the null object and now we can see again our composition and this red square here is the null object it can't be seen when we are going to render it, it's just for now. But as you can see, it's always in front of the gun. I'm going to convert now the null object to 3D object. We're going to need that later. Oops, that was strong. Okay, right click on that part here and 3D layer. Okay, now, now we have to add the first model flash. So just open your, uh, if you have it already, your, uh, your folder with the essential, your essential disk from Vujic Copilot, you know, just that what I told you to use before I started to, to be with the tutorial or, or you can also use a texture which you can get from Google Images just a muzzle flash I'm going to use this here the first one it works pretty good for me I know it's not it's for the wrong weapon but I don't have a better one so it's that video here just some muzzle flashes um, I'm going to use that even if it's it doesn't really fit to the gun. The flash would look somewhere else, but that's not important for now. So now, when you drop your file here, drag and drop it again into here. Just make sure that it's on the top position, not down here. You would be able to see it. Put it on the top and convert it to a 3D layer. Now, um, we want to freeze this frame, we don't want it to be a video like it is now, we want it to freeze it, so click with the right mouse button on this bar here and go to time and freeze frame at the first, so at first um, put the slider to frame 1 
and then right click on it time freeze frame and now it's an image just uh, now drag this here until the end because if you wouldn't do that uh, the image would disappear after the bar here ends so give it put it to there and now we have to make uh, this um, this object follow that null object so first of all open settings for this object here this muscle flash get your transform and put the another point oh, that was the wrong value just do it like that so that you can control the object at the at the beginning of the fire so and just do the same as me I don't know exactly how to explain it in English um, okay when you've done that you uh, you have to click on this symbol here and drag with the mouse to null object now you've appended your you must flash to this null object and you can see there's an offset but it already moves with the with the null object and so now we have to move this muscle flash to there and rotate it in this 3D space so that it looks good um, to do that just go to the first frame and move move this uh, layer by just clicking on this axis and move it here to this point now rotate it select this tool here then click on this axis here and rotate it like that okay let's have a look at it this is a bit too much okay I think that's already good um, now switch here to the top view to control if the muscle flash object is at this corner and it is that's good because we we want this muscle flash to hit the same position as as this null object so we don't want it to be uh, here or here we want it to be exactly at that red object here um, okay I also check it from the front view yes it's it's okay because it's at this corner of the null object here and that's what we want to so switch back to the active camera view and now we're going to set the type of the blending mode of this layer to screen you can do that by going select this layer and go to layer settings here and blending mode and set it to screen now you can see that it is going to it's just like adding the college to background it's just a bit different okay now when you move in the time the muscle edge is moving with the gun but we still need rotation because the front part of this gun is very small and we can't track the rotation with it very good we have to apply rotations manually can do that by opening the settings for the mouse flash going to orientation and click on this uh, clock symbol here to make uh, this object that you can animate the object just the rotation of it and of course um, you have to keep in mind that you have to be on the first frame now uh, we already have the rotation done for that frame and it looks good then go to the last frame and make the object fit again the rotation of the gun so just rotate it al along the y-axis by clicking on the y-axis with this tool selected with the rotation tool and when you've done that you can see how the result looks like 
and you have already your rotation but uh, I'm going to create here another keyframe because now the camera looks straight to the gun but the muzzle flash has still a bit rotation so just adjust that again so that looks good okay alright now we have here um, the animation just going to adjust that a bit okay I, I think that's good now uh, it looks just now just like plane which is in front of your gun and now we don't want it to look like a plane we want to add something like a volumetric effect for uh, this this um, muscle flash here so we're going to copy that object now and rotate it by 90 degrees to create a more volumetic like um, muscle flash and of course um, before you use that scale this a bit up because it's a bit small it actually do doesn't fit the gun really but as I said that's that's not really important for now you can do it better if you want just take a better muscle flash which fits the gun but what I've done now is just here in the settings for this object scaling it up a bit here now select this object and hit control D with the mouse in this area here now you have a copy of it now we have to rotate the copy but there is a pro problem because we have already keyframed um, the rotation of this object but what we're going to do now is to um, to clear the animation of, of the rotation for this object for the new object for the copy of that layer so go to the settings of the copy and click again on this clock button to um, clear the animation now we have one layer rotating correct and one without um, rotations and now click again on this uh, symbol here and now drop uh, drag and drop on the first muzzle flash now the rotation fits again but we can rotate this layer now by 90 degrees along the x axis just again select the rotation tool up here click with your mouse on this red arrow turn it around like this and hold the shift button to um, to get exactly 90 degrees and then we already have more volume in it but we now we want to add another layer here with the front view of a muzzle flash so now we're going to need a new muzzle flash texture from the front view I don't know, I'm just going to take one of them I don't know how they exactly look like but I think it will be good yeah that's not bad I think again drag and drop it in here and drop that again on the top here go to the first frame right click on it time time uh, freeze frame drag that to the end and set the type of blending blending type to screen now we have to convert it to a 3d layer just this this year and we have to put it now over there so go to the top view again just always the same hit the, select again the selection tool move it to here the object then go to the front view and move it a bit up like that scale it a bit down because it's too big oh uh, okay 
and now uh, when you've done that go back to your active camera view just adjust a bit the size of it it's a bit too big now and we have to rotate it a bit we'll go to the top view again select the rotation tool along the y axis rotate it okay now now we we've got a good result go to active camera and of course we don't have rotations again and it's not following the gun again but now we're not going to to part part it to the null object we're going to part it to the muzzle flash because the muzzle flash has already animations for the rotation so to part in it click again on this symbol here and drop it on this uh, this layer here with the animation and as you can see we now have already a really good 3D effect that's but but we're not finished for now we could, we want to improve we still can improve our result so for example you can see here that this plane here looks really flat and you can see that there is a plane so select that layer and I'm just going to rotate it a bit along the x-axis I think it is the x-axis um, oh no it's not, it's not, it's the y-axis which you need to oh no it's not, I need to watch from another view it's a bit confusing when you have so many layers on each other Okay, I think I know now what I have to do. Select it and okay now that's the axis. It was the axis. I, I don't want it to be flat. I, I want it and I don't want it to be like this because we have already a layer which looks like that. I want it to be about twisted about fifty-five degrees. Uh, I mean yes. No, fifty-four, that's what I meant. Now I'm gonna hide these again. It looks better now. Um, I think the size of the muzzle lash front view is a bit too small, so select it and scale it up a bit, and adjust the position if it's not good. You have just to play around a bit with your your scene, but you can see we already have a good result for now now we're going to add smoke and some something like sparks to it um, therefore we're going to the folder with powder hits and that's one I like for the scene I use it too for the scene I'll show you and add this again to the top of our, of our composition I'm again going to use um, the blending mode screen and I'm going to freeze the frame again, it's just the same as always and drag this to here again and pardon it to that layer here, to the animated layer and of course convert it to a 3D layer and we have to set the position again. Let's see if it's good. It's already not bad. Just have to rotate it and adjust the position a bit. Um, but this one will have a rotation like that here. Just add, just use a rotation which you personally like. For me that looks good. Okay. Just I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. And now you have a bit of smoke already, but I want more smoke. So I need to rotate it a bit because it looks a bit flat at the end. 
Now I'm going to duplicate that again with Control D and to copy, we rotate it along that axis here, like that, and like this, so that we have on, on both sides smoke. And as you can see, we we have here our muzzle flash smoke this effect here which looks really good in my opinion you don't have to use it but you can just play around with your settings and now we're going to add lightning at the background because it wouldn't look that good without the light um, but before doing that I want to duplicate that layer here that front view and moving it to the front part here and scaling it a bit down. It just adds a bit of volumetric effect. There's no need to really to do it, but in my opinion it looks good. Uh, okay. When that's done, um, copy the footage layer which you have down here, again with Ctrl D, and select as the blending mode add now everything will get really bright and you can't really see anything but now we're going to uh, with this selected add with this tool here uh, a, a mask which looks like that just a square around the the weapon don't have to be really precise just just worry draw circle around that part uh, where light have to be then go to the settings for that layer scroll down to masks open that menu then add mask feather turn this value up so that the edges get really blurry and turn the opacity a bit down because it's a bit too bright and now what we need to do, do is to animate that mask because it's not going to follow it at the moment so click on the symbol here and go to this tool and move the mask to here then go to the, at the end of the video and move it to there and that's actually it so you have here I can make a pre-render of the video you have your 3D muzzle flash here in front of your gun you have lightning I mean in my opinion it looks really good um, you can now make a movie out of that by clicking on composition and then make movie and wait a second, I just need to put that finish. Okay. There you go. And now go to composition, make movie. If you want to render it, here you can select the output, the, the output where it, uh, is, with it, where it's going to be. And then hit just render and you. that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope everything was clear to you. If you have questions just write a comment under this video. Of course I'm going to add the link to that uh, Widget Copilot product in the description of this video. And <clears throat> thank you for watching guys. Bye.